Namaste programs. Welcome back to Microsoft Flight Simulator and the Rove and welcome to the Austria land of mountains and music bush trip. It's the third of the three latest bush trips. It's 858 kilometers, four hours, 16, six legs, leg one today from Innsbruck to Nikolsdorf airport. Let's get it going. Austria land of mountains and music is the third installment of the three part bush trip series that celebrates the beauty, grandeur and history of Germany, Austria and Switzerland, together known as DACA, Deutschland Austria Confederation Helvetia. Located in the southern reaches of Central Europe, Austria is a landlocked nation that shares a border with eight countries, including Switzerland, Italy and Germany. The nation comprises several landform regions, with roughly 60% being mountainous, most of which being the Eastern Alps. Meticulously designed for aviators to experience the essence of the mountains of Austria, this journey begins in Tyrol, loops through the beautiful Austrian countryside and ends in Germany's Bavaria, which borders Austria on its northwest. Aviators will visit all the major Austrian Alpine regions regions including the Northern Eastern Alps, the Central Eastern Alps and the Southern Eastern Alps. All right, let's get going. New bush trip, who dis? Yet again. Get ourselves over to the runway. There is a plane trying to take off on my runway and not have it. I will not allow it. I will ignore it is basically, this is my simulation. The civilization simulated. He's going to be right in my road. Can we sneak ahead of him? Can we sneak ahead of him? Get off my runway, bruh. Oh, he's coming off. He's getting off the runway. Oh, fair enough. We won't be able to do that in the new version because of the jet wash they're adding. Let's go. Beautiful. Look at this place, though. Oh, these mountains. I've uh, turned live weather off, but this is what live weather looked like. Um... It was no snow, beautiful autumn, fall, green, here in the Austrian mountains. And we want 153 for 7 minutes 52, Brenner Pass. Lift off from Innsbruck Airport and set a course to the south following the River Sill, a tributary to the River Inn. Innsbruck, the heart of which is located to the east of the airport, is widely hailed as one of the most of the world's most beautiful mountain cities. It is the capital of Tyrol, a two-part Austrian federal state, both parts of which are dominated by mountains. The River Sill, paralleled by the Brenner Autobahn, Highway A13, leads through the Stubai Valley into the central eastern Alps. Follow the highway to Austria's border with Italy at Brenner Pass, the most frequently traveled road link from Central Europe to Italy. Well, I think somewhere here must be the Brenner Pass. I don't know if it's quite here. The river must be called Brenner, because all the towns along here are Stenach am Brenner, Lies am Brenner, Matrai am Brenner, Brenner Arrow Brenner. Oh, that's a, that's a shop. What's a Brenner Arrow? Outlet Center Brenner. Obenburg am Brenner. Wow. Anyway, we don't need to wait for the purple arrow just yet. Let's move on to 201. The 3 minutes 34, Stelzing. Once in Italy, the Brenner Autobahn becomes Autostrada A22. Follow the highway to the southwest to the town of Stelzing in the Italian province of South Tyrol. Like Austria's Tyrol, South Tyrol is renowned for its beautiful mountains. Both, Aust both Austria's Tyrol and Italy's South Tyrol are part of the historical region Tyrol also spelt Tirole. Fascinating. It's 
All right, we haven't quite made it to Estelzing. That's it there, I think. Not just below us. Maybe part of it. Who knows? Anyway, Purple Arrow wants us to turn back. Why are we turning back? I'll never know, but let's find out. We're going 53 degrees for 5 minutes 18. Uh, Fitcherjok. Turn onto a northeast course over Stelzing and follow the Fitcher Valley to the Austrian border. The stream Fitcher Bach and the paralleling road provides a good visual reference through much of the valley. Follow the valley to Fitcherjok. Fitcherjok. A mountain pass at the international border. Well, this must be the Fista Yok. It's a mountain pass, and the border is literally below me. Well, in a couple of seconds. Now ish. Almost now ish. In a couple of seconds now ish. Here we go. That'll do. Yeah, look, there's even a couple of little buildings. That'll be the border. What an amazing thing. Imagine coming up here and crossing over the border, handing your passport, and then what? Skiing down. Water skiing, even. 35 degrees for 6 minutes, 13. Meyerhofen. At Fischerjok. Fischerjok. Gain a visual on... Here we go, mate. Schlegeispeicher. A high mountain reservoir. Follow the Zammer, Zam, Zamzerbach stream from Fischerjok to the northwest end of Schlegeispeicher and continue following Zamzerbach to its confluence with the river Zembach. Zembach leads to the town of Meyerhofen, where it merges with the River Zilla, namesake of the, namesake of the Zilla Valley and the sub-range of Central Eastern Alps peaks of the area, the Zillertal Alps. You can get fucked, pardon my Austrian. Thank you for that speech. It is Meyerhofen yet again. I mean, it's always, it's going to be always these beautiful towns, isn't it? In the mountains, in the valleys, along the rivers. God oh, dang, it's so picturesque. So bloody picturesque, man. How can you deal with it? Any uh, football stadiums? No. You know, we haven't been seeing much of that in the, the last few games, few games, few trips. There is some kind of sports field just next to the tail now. Interesting. Anyway, now we want 8 degrees for 1 minute uh, 57. Zell am Zilla. Follow the river Zilla, the river Zilla north, to its confluence with the river Gerlospark at the picturesque alpine town of Zell am Zilla. Here we are. Uh, Zellamzilla next to Zellberg and Heisenberg and Gerlerberg and Roberg, all the Bergs are here. Wow. It's so pretty. Oh, I turn it already. I thought we wouldn't be over it yet. Well, fine. Purple arrow, I'll take it. 82 degrees for 5 minutes 43. Koenigsleiten. Turn to the east over Zellamzilla and track the river Gerlosbach. Girl and the Gurlos Alpine Road, B165. Look at this, the fog, the clouds, the sun. Oh, it's just breathtaking. Where was I? Which parallels the river and passes through Jorge Torren National Park with spectacular vistas of mountains, glaciers, meadows, and streams. Pass just to the north of the crescent-shaped Dörlasboden Reservoir to reach the Alpine village of Konigsleiten located just below the Gerlos Pass.
Ah, I think this is Koenig's light in here. Look at it. Up on a hill. Beautiful. Unbelievable. I mean, you, your best friends would be goats, right? <laughs> I love them. I love them so much. 159 for 4 minutes 40 is next. Uh, with a huge wall of text. Let's go. Krimla Aachen Valley. Pass over Gurlos Pass. And then turn onto a course to the south-southeast to fly into the Krimla Aachen Valley. An alpine region of waterfalls, glaciers and high peaks. Climb to 12,500 feet to clear the terrain ahead, which is part of the Venediga group of peaks in the high Tauern range of the Central Eastern Alps. Gain a visual on Dreihenspitzer, the highest mountain in the vicinity at 11,480 feet above sea level, and the Krimla Keys Glacier below and to the east of the summit. Prior to reaching the Krimla Keys Glacier, sight the mountain peak west like his Zwillingskopfel, located northeast of Dreihenspitzer on the same ridge. West Lich's Zwillingskopfel is the northernmost point of Italy and is called Testa Gemella Occidentale in Italian. Prepare to turn to the east when the X Cub is a beam of West Lich's Zwillingskopfel. <laughs> God, it's so hard. Well, I can see that this is the Krimla Keys Glacier to our right, so this must be the Dreihenspitzer Summit just below us now. What a spectacular mountain. Beautiful. Let us continue 68 degrees for two minutes. Grosvendiga. Gros, Grosvenediga. North of the base of the Krimla Keith Glacier, turn to 70 degrees M and climb to 13,000 feet, and then pass to the north of the prominent ridge of glaciated peaks of the Venedija Group. Soar over dramatic glaciers, arets, peaks, and ridges to pass over the summit of Grosvenediga, the highest peak of the Venediga Group at 11,998 feet high and the fourth highest in Austria. Heavily glaciated on all sides, it is one of the most prominent features of the High Tauron Range and High Tauron National Park, which protects it and its nebels. Well, this is definitely the Grosse Vededinga, according to Google, in the clouds right now, under the sun. Wow, look at this view. Beautiful. Who can complain about that? Nobody, nobody complains, although you know what? There's always someone who complains. The internet is a whinge machine. 82 degrees for 2 minutes 59 of Felbertoren Road. Continue on an easterly course and descend into the Torren Valley. Gain a visual on the Felbertoren Road, which enters the valley from the north through the Felbertoren Tunnel. Alright, well down in the valley there is Felbertoren, the town. Not much of it. Very little. Don't know where the tunnel is, but this must be the Felbertoren road, I suppose. It's the only road! Although there is one zigzagging up into the mountains there. Classic mountain road. Probably just, you know, anus clenching all the way. Probably no guides, no thing, nothing to stop you from falling off if you make a mistake. Anyway, we're up in a plane, so we're good. And it's virtual, so it's even better. 143 degrees for 9 minutes 48. Lins, or Liens? Liens, I'm going to go with, you know? Just like in Star Wars Outlines, you've got to do your liens. So I say outlines, outlaws. Track the general course of Felbertoren Road to the southeast, descending in altitude. Alright, we can do that. 
where it meets the Drow Valley. Continue following Felbertorn Road to the town of Leans, where the rivers Esel and Drava meet. Here it is, we followed the valley, and then suddenly around a corner, huge valley, Leans Football Foot Stadium, it's got it all. It's got it all. It's got a, on the Google Maps, there's some red and blue lines, which are always ski runs, I think. So this is a ski resort as well. Just no snow at the moment. Sag, maybe there'll never be snow again train line it must be it looks like a train station there awesome anyway purple arrow is not happy yet but we're going 109 for 216 to nickelsdorf airport follow the river drava to the southeast and land at leon's nickelsdorf airport l-o-k-l -L, if it won't stutter to death Alright, looks like this is it here. It's a bit hard to get to with this mountain on the road. You can't quite straighten up until right at the end. The picture basically shows what looks like a, a taxiway, not a runway, but I guess this is it. As always, the pictures are the reverse of the way we're coming in. I don't know why they do that. It's a little bit odd. Yeah, I think the... Uh, I think the game's just put this in as a road. It's got dotted lines on it. Is this not the airport? It's where it is on Google. Yep, yeah, and there is a car on the road, on what is actually I'm going to call the runway, but uh, not sure the algorithm agrees. Perhaps this might be our first buggy one for a very long time. Let's hope this works as a runway. I mean, it's got runway marks on it, so it should be all right. Actually, some runways have the dotted lines. It's not uncommon. Anyway, that was leg one of the Austrian bush trip. I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you for watching. Thank you for existing. Au revoir. Goodbye.